club. First one in Seattle, right? First one I know of in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm Fonzie Perillo here talking with Jeremy Bertrand from, and I'll let you say this because so, first of, tell us the acronym and then tell us what it really means. So the acronym is Was Not. It stands for Washington State Department of Transportation. So I work for the basically the transportation department for the state of Washington. We're really lucky to do a lot of social media tools. Um, we have a blog, we have a Twitter account, we have a Flickr account, and we also have a YouTube account. It's really been effective for us to be able to just have a two-way conversation with people who are using these tools. And how, how new is this that, you know, the Department of Transportation, that's so cool that the state is actually open to using all these social media tools. That's something we talked about a little earlier, and I think people would love to hear how it saves money, it's quick, and how everyone's embraced it. You said people go out with cameras and then they come back and download the photos? Yeah, so even... We have people even at our work who will go out and take video of, say there's an avalanche just to call me pets. They'll, they'll take a video of that avalanche and come back and give it to us. We'll put it up on YouTube and then do a quick tweet, do a little blog story about it and tell people the road is closed. If I tell you the road is closed and I show you a video of how bad that is and how long it might take to clear or to open, um, it's much more credible. and allows us to have a conversation about how long it's going to take us to open the road. And so how did the powers that be decide that it was okay to do this? It all started out, honestly, there was a Seahawks game about three years ago where it started snowing right after the game when people were coming home, so a lot of people got stuck. So it started out with, at the very top level, the Secretary of Transportation said, I want to hear from those people, I don't want to let them vent. So we opened a blog to start just allowing them to vent. Um, we got about 75 comments and most of them were pretty upset because they were stuck in the car on the roadway. But we weren't able to plan for that event. So it really just opened up the discussion of, hey, we're planning, we're working, we're trying to do this. And it's just grown from there. That's amazing. And there, there are actually how many people employed, and this is what that they do all day, right? Is interact with social media and post and tweet. And so, so there's only really about six people in the office that are just doing web stuff. Okay. That we have a network of about you know seven thousand employees, and then another great network of about twenty three hundred Twitter followers wow. who are also giving us information. They're letting us know when there's road closures or how much snow is on the road or whether there's black ice in locations. So it's really a community effort. It's been really fantastic for us. That's really cool. What, what's one of the major things that you've been able to stop from happening? I'm sure with all the snow that's happened here lately, many accidents could have happened if not. So one, of the, you know, one of the major decisions is should I go out on the road or not? Yeah. Should I leave my house? True. You don't want to tell people to stay home, but you certainly want to say don't leave home now. Maybe try tomorrow morning or maybe try later in the day because conditions are just awful right now. So we, we've actually heard from business owners that they've saved over $10,000 wow. just because they didn't send their freight out at certain times of day. When we said, hey, by the way, there's an accident on I-5, blocking this many lanes, it's going to take you this long to get through there. And they've actually saved money because we've been able to give them those kind of, help them make informed decisions. I know there was one um, issue that just happened not too long ago, and that was everyone was told that they needed to ride the bus and not drive, but then the buses got stuck. So what happens in that situation, and how do you like field all those, I'm sure, angry people? So in that situation, luckily it wasn't us, it was the Seattle DOT and the King County Metro who runs the buses. So we hate to say, point the finger somewhere else, where we're at least people, help people get alternatives, or even give people some of that updated information that they maybe couldn't find, uh, because we are in contact with some of those government agencies. So do those agencies use social media as well? Or do you Seattle have you DOT started to, but they started to in the middle of the storm, and so they got a lot of negative feedback. And when you're just jumping into it and new to it, all you get is negative feedback. It doesn't sound like something, a road you want to go down. Scary. So they actually kind of backed out of it because of oh, that. Oh no, it so, got scary, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for all the information. This is so cool. And how can people find you? Online? So you can find us at wsdot.wa.gov or twitter.com and follow WSDOT. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jeremy. Thank you.